The Hasselblad X2D2 is more than a new camera body. It represents a philosophy. Every few years, the camera industry gets a release that people remember. Not because of hype or marketing alone, but because it changes the way professionals think about their tools. The X2D2 feels like one of those releases. Let's slow down and carefully unpack why. For decades, medium format has lived in a special place. These cameras are larger, more expensive, and slower than full-frame systems. They were not built to compete on speed. They were designed for perfection. They existed for the studio photographer, the fine art creator, the person who values image quality over everything else. Hasselblad was at the heart of that idea. When someone said the name Hasselblad, they weren't just talking about a tool. They were talking about craftsmanship, a camera made with patience and intention. But the world has changed. Photography today is faster. Creators demand tools that can adapt across multiple scenarios. They need image quality, yes, but they also need speed, usability, and flexibility. That's where the X2D2 comes in. This camera is not trying to be a Sony A1 or a Canon R5. It is not fighting to be the fastest burr shooter on the planet. Instead, it is taking everything that made Hasselblad unique and then closing the gaps that previously held it back. Think of it as Hasselblad finally acknowledging the needs of the modern working professional. We should start with the heart of the system, the sensor. The X2D2 continues to use the 100 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor. At first, some people were surprised. They expected a new sensor, maybe a jump in resolution. But Hasselblad did not change it for a reason. The truth is that sensor was already one of the most advanced in the world. It delivers 16-bit color depth, which is rare. It gives you 15 stops of dynamic range. That means you can capture subtle highlights in the sky and deep shadow details in the same frame without crushing or blowing out important tones. This matters for professionals. When you're shooting fashion, fine art, or commercial work, those subtleties make a difference. Skin tones look more lifelike. Gradients in a sunset look smooth instead of banded. Reflections, fabrics, and textures hold their richness. In many ways, this continuity was the smartest move Hasselblad could make. Why fix what is not broken? By keeping this sensor, they maintained their benchmark in image quality and instead directed energy towards solving usability problems. And that leads us to autofocus. The original X2D had many admirers, but autofocus was not its strength. It was often described as slow or hesitant, especially compared to flagship full-frame systems. For certain types of work, like portraits or landscapes, that was fine. But for dynamic scenarios, it was frustrating. With the X2D2, Hasselblad is reportedly introducing a new autofocus system co-developed with DJI. This is significant. DJI, as many know, is a leader in drone technology, and autofocus tracking has always been critical in that space. Partnering with DJI means Hasselblad is leveraging expertise from a company that understands real-time subject tracking better than most. The rumored LAR autofocus system could be the biggest leap forward in this release. Imagine a Hasselblad camera that not only gives you world-class image quality, but also keeps up with moving subjects. Eye detection, face detection, reliable tracking across frames, even low light. These are the kinds of improvements that transform medium format from a specialty tool into a more general professional option. Suddenly, wedding photographers, event shooters, and even some sports or action specialists can look at medium format as a viable choice. That is a huge shift in the narrative. But autofocus is not the only improvement. Stabilization is another key area. The X2D2 is expected to ship with 5-axis in-body image stabilization. Rated up to 8 stops of compensation. Let's pause here. 8 stops is massive. That means you can shoot handheld in conditions that would have been impossible before. In the past, medium format cameras were often tied to tripods. You had to lock them down for sharp results. With this level of stabilization, handheld shooting becomes not only possible but practical. For travel photographers, documentary shooters, or anyone working outside the studio, that is liberating. It turns the X2D2 into a flex. 
IBL tool, not just a controlled environment camera. And then there are the smaller refinements. A redesigned button layout, a joystick for auto-focus control, a faster and smoother user interface. These might sound minor, but they matter in day-to-day -day use. The original X2D was elegant, but sometimes slow to navigate. Too many actions required diving into menus. Hasselblad is addressing that. With better tactile controls, you gain speed and confidence. You spend less time fighting the camera and more time making photographs. Internal storage remains a signature feature. The X2D2 continues to offer one terabyte of internal SSD storage. This is unusual. Most cameras rely entirely on memory cards. Hasselblad gives you both. You get the security of internal storage plus the flexibility of an external CFX breast type B card slot. For professionals, this is more than convenience. It is peace of mind. When you're on a critical assignment, knowing your images are backed up internally can be the difference between a successful job and a disaster. Now let's talk about color science. Hasselblad's color science has been celebrated for decades. Photographers often say that colors from a Hasselblad camera simply feel right. Natural, smooth, cinematic. The Hasselblad Natural Color Solution, or HNCS, reduces the need for heavy editing. Skin tones look accurate. Blues, greens, and reds balance beautifully. For commercial photographers, this saves time in post-production. For artists, it means the files have a unique character straight out of the camera. Pair that with 16-bit rendering, and you get depth that is hard to match. Of course, we cannot avoid the subject of price. Hasselblad cameras are expensive. Always have been. The X2D2 is expected to cost between $8,000 and $10,000 for the body alone. That is not a casual purchase. But here is the truth. Hasselblad is not trying to compete in the budget market. This is not about affordability. It is about delivering the best possible tool for those who demand it. For professionals who charge premium rates, this camera can pay for itself. For collectors and enthusiasts, it represents ownership of something iconic. Think about the history. Hasselblad cameras went to the moon. They captured legendary fashion campaigns. They documented art and culture in ways that define generations. Buying a Hasselblad is not just buying a camera. It is joining a tradition of excellence. That is why the price, while high, makes sense for those who understand the value. What makes the X2D2 especially interesting, though, is timing. We are in an era where full-frame cameras are astonishingly good. Sony, Canon, Nikon, and Panasonic are producing models that rival medium format in many ways. They are fast, versatile, and far less expensive. So why would someone choose medium format in 2025? The answer lies in the files. Medium format files are not just bigger. They are different. They hold more tonal information. They render depth and dimension in a way that feels closer to film. For clients who need large prints, for brands that demand perfection, or for artists who care about the intangible quality of an image, medium format still has no equal. That is why the X2D2 matters. Is Hasselblad's attempt to close the usability gap while keeping the image quality advantage it is not about replacing full-frame cameras. It is about offering an alternative for those who want more than just speed and features. It is about choice. The release date adds to the excitement. Multiple reports suggest August 26, 2025. That date is consistent across independent sources, making it highly reliable. For professionals planning investments, this matters. You can mark it on your calendar. You can prepare your workflow and budget. Anticipation is part of the Hasselblad experience. The brand has always been surrounded by a sense of ceremony. Announcements feel like events, not just product launches. The X2D2 fits perfectly into that tradition. Now, let's consider the ecosystem. Hasselblad's lens lineup is smaller than what you find in the full-frame world. But the lenses they do offer are exceptional. They are designed specifically for medium format. That means edge-to-edge -edge sharpness minimal distortion, and micro-contrast that reveals incredible detail. The 35mm f 2.5, for example, is already a favorite among X-System shooters. 
pairing lenses like that with the new autofocus system could be transformative. Of coup, RSE, the cost of lenses adds up. That is part of the equation. Buyers must think about not just the body, but the entire system investment. Resale value is another factor. Hasselblad cameras tend to hold their value longer than many competitors. That is partly because they are built like precision instruments and partly because the brand does not release new models every year. Owning a Hasselblad often feels like owning a tool that will remain relevant for many years. That stability is reassuring in a market where new cameras appear constantly. To sum up this first section, the X2D2 is shaping up to be one of the most significant releases of 2025. It takes everything Hasselblad is known for, color science, image quality, craftsmanship, and combines it with meaningful upgrades in autofocus, stabilization, and usability. It addresses the frustrations of the past while staying true to the brand's identity. It is not for everyone, and it is not meant to be. But for those who understand its purpose, it could become the defining camera of this generation. And that is where we leave section one. We have explored the specs, the improvements, the expected release date, and the reasons why the X2D2 matters. In section two, we will go deeper. We will compare this camera to rivals. We will examine workflows and real world applications. We will ask the harder questions. Does it truly make sense in today's market? And who should consider investing in it? For now, one thing is clear. Hasselblad has not just built another camera. It has built a statement.